Hi friends, my name is Borro Dante. It's one week into Inktober as I'm recording this. So this weekend I drew a couple of sketches and I'm thinking let's render them this week. So let's paint the cyber girl. So here is the subject. It's obvious that I was pretty straightforwardly inspired by Ghost in the Shell here. So yeah, this is a cyber girl. She is sitting on the edge of whatever, and her legs are in the black water. And behind her, there will be like just a white fog or something. I'm thinking to create this mystical kind of existential feeling. Like we're questioning, is there something in the emptiness of the robotic mind? Kind of like that. Pretty deep shit, I know. Okay, let's break this into colors. Oh yeah, before we start, I think some of you would like to see the stages of the drawing, since I was drawing this myself. Okay, what do we have here? Yeah, the first stage was this, then on top of it I went with these details. I was actually thinking this would be the final amount of detail, but then I thought that I don't like the line that I chose to draw with, so I went 10 times more detailed. <laughs> went a bit crazy there. Oh, I have hatching in a separate layer, that's cool. We can turn it off, it will be easier to work with. So I decided to go with a blue ground, and also I will choose the blue or the secondary light, so we would have really cool reflex on the robot. That'll be awesome. Okay, so basically this is it for the background. Now let's paint the robot. Well, colors are mostly here. The dark gray color is metal, the middle gray is rubber, and white and orange is kind of a painted plastic. So this is it. Now let's put on some basic shading. This is pretty hardcore. Try not to forget to switch between soft brush and the brick brush. Different details require a different pattern. Such a mindfuck to figure out where each light comes from, like where the reflexes should show up, especially in such a complex shape. I'm going at this level of detail right now, everything is kind of like smooth, soft and round, just to figure out the basic soft shapes of these colors, and then I'll just grab the brick brush and I'll add small details just by color picking. Yeah, that's the plan, we'll see if it works.
It's a very important part. Have to make it right. Right now I'm adding some dust in all of the cavities, all of the details that are surrounding white plastic. Because I want to simulate this look of old school sci-fi movies where they always use this old plastic that kind of becomes a bit yellow everywhere. I want the feel of the 80s. Okay, now all the main colors are basically in place. Now I'm thinking let's merge everything together and just continue with color picker and the brick brush. It's almost five hours of work. I'm feeling tired already. So let's just do this till I pass out and then call it done. doing great so far and I can't say I'm enjoying this fact meaning my new philosophy says that there's no such thing as a precious painting so I really don't like paying too much time to a single painting because I used to do that very much and trust me it's not worth it meaning there's nothing wrong with creating a good high quality painting but this is not the way to evolve as an artist not the painting itself is important but the time you spend with it it's like hookers a friend told me i have the worst friends Done! I am done. Jesus Christ. Over six hours. Well, this is hardcore. I don't remember ever getting to this kind of finalized look in six hours. Really nice. Nice! Love the water detail. I am so happy right now. Let's add a little fog over the water as well, so it would look more immersive or realistic. I don't know. Feels right. Really awesome. Let's compare. Oh, this is also a really cool version. <laughs> it's always hard to compete with the drawing because drawing has this ultimate high contrast details. So this is the beginning and this is the end. Cool. 
Certain areas look way better in painting. I love her hair more in a drawing. Well, it would take quite some time to make it right in color. Other than that, mostly it's way better in painting. Well, anywho, this was the Cyber Girl. And I thank you for watching if you did. I guess you did if you're here. Leave a like and subscribe. Tell a friend. Take pictures of dead pigeons. Do whatever you want. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.